Yo guys, it's Clips here. Today, I'm gonna be showing you guys a really fast duplication glitch, but in order to do it, you have to sort of do a little glitch out thingy. It's been in the game for a bit, actually. I'm just gonna make a video on it. Yes. Yeah, so everything you will need. I suggest you watch the whole video just in case I miss out on like anything you might need. Then you don't get mad at me. Just make sure you got everything. So you need a nightclub, B2 and B4. B2 and B4 have to be filled with allergies, modded cars, it doesn't matter. You don't lose them. The car you have to duplicate doesn't have to be in there. It doesn't matter. You just need B2 and B4 filled with cars. It could be LGs, you could buy a, buy a bunch of free cards and put them in there. They just, both of those two garages have to be filled with any cars. And then you're going to need an arcade with the car you want to duplicate inside and a bunch of LGs or whatever free cars that you want to get rid of. And then you're going to obviously, need an L, you're going to need an LS Car Meet membership. And you're going to go to the last location and you're going to put it at LS Car Meet too. So, first thing, you're just going to go in your B2. Go make sure you go in basement level 2. Not 1, her normal. Has to be basement level 2. And 2 and 4 has to be filled. I'm saying it a lot. They both have to be filled with cards. Any cards. You could buy a bunch of free cards. It does not matter. So, once you're in your B2. And it takes a bit for everything to load in. So, you're going to take out a card, but you're going to explode it. So, don't take out something like a terabyte. Because that would take forever to explode. I'm just going to take out this. doesn't matter which car or where it is, but you're just going to take it out. I did a video on this, but it didn't do that good, and there's, it's a bit different than the last one. So I'm just making another video. Now you're going to get out of the car. has to be in a public session, so it's kind of annoying because there's a guy right there. You can explode it. You can use an RPG, anything. Just don't kill yourself. And then you're gonna explode the car. You might get the cops on you, but it's okay, because even if you don't, you wanna come back in your nightclub B2. Doesn't matter if you have the cops or not. You wanna go back in B2. Takes me a bit, because don't got the best Wi Fi. You could skip it until I get in if you want. Okay, there we go. Everything's still loading in. It might not do this for you, depends how. How what cards you got? Cause I got big terabytes and all that. So this part's kind of hard. It's gonna be tough. You gotta do this quick. Okay, th you don't can open it. It doesn't matter how fast you could uh, do this part. So basically, you're gonna click on the top car, the very top one of your B2. Like this is the second, third, just on the list, the top one on the list of your B2. You're gonna click X and then click Square and switch it with the bottom one of your B4. But as soon as you do this, click X two times or whatever, just to accept. You're going to go options, online, and then creator. If you don't do it quick enough, it'll load you in story mode. So you got to do this really quick. Just go in creator as soon as you switch it. I click it like three times just to be safe. Online. And spam X. And you will know if you hit it. It might not look like you hit it like that. But I think I hit it there. I'm not 100% sure though. I should have hit that because I did it fast. It's just you got to go pretty fast. And if you hit it, it'll load you in creator. If you didn't hit it, it'll load you in story mode. If you take too long doing that part, it'll load you in story mode too. If you take too long going in creator. Yeah, so I'm in creator. Now you gotta go online. And you're just gonna go in an invite only session. And your last location should be on the LS car meet. So you should load straight into the LS car meet. You guys can skip this part. I'm just not cutting it just so you guys know it's not fake. This is the only long part of the duplication actually getting glitched out. When you actually duplicate cards, you could do like one every minute or even faster if you do it quick. So we're loading in the LS car meet because our spawn location is on it. Taking a bit, taking a bit. If any of you guys want free modded cars or I could teach, or if you want me to make a tutorial video on how to get glitched out outfits, then just let me know. And please like the video and subscribe because it really helps out a lot, a lot. Like way more than you would think. 
want to grind to 900 subs and it's going to be 1k when i hit 1k i'm going to do something huge i don't know what i'm going to do but it's probably going to be a bit till we hit that we're at 821 right now you guys comment your psn's i will try to add every single person unless this video blows up but i'll probably do like a lot of people okay so once you load in the ls car meet you're going to want to call up your mechanic Call your mechanic. You you're gonna call. I can bring around. You're just gonna call any car. It could be any single garage. It doesn't matter. It just has to be a car, four wheels that you could drive, and you could put it in an, uh, like you can upgrade it in a mod shop, or in an LS car meet, or not LS car meet in the Los Angeles cu custom. It's just not any car. I'm just gonna call in a car for my office garage too, and it's gonna be a Zentorno because it's a pretty normal car. It is modded. You're not losing this car. Doesn't matter what car. Could be an LG. Could be a modded car. Could be anything. Then it, you should see it on your little mini map. It's back here, probably on the other side. That little car is pretty small, so it shouldn't be too hard to find it. It's not like you don't have your map like when you're glitching out. So you're gonna get in your Zentorno, and then you're gonna click circle to exit. But as soon as you, as soon as you see anything like light, as soon as you see you come out, you're gonna hold right on your D-pad. And then it's fine if it doesn't work first try. But as soon as you see anything like the road in your car, you're gonna hold right on your D-pad. And look, it didn't work right there, so you're just gonna basically drive back in. And you're just gonna retry it it should kick you out your car and then you're gonna go back in exit and as soon as you see anything don't do it before you come out you some people spam it some people hold it I like to hold it a lot of people more people like to hold it just because it's more consistent this should only take like one or two tries maybe three tries this is the only like and it's pretty quick it's not like you have to reset the whole glitch if you mess it up just come back outside and as soon as you see anything as soon as you see anything you want to hold right on your d-pad right away yeah there we go now I'm loading into a shop if it doesn't work just keep trying it should not take long if it takes more than five tries then you're doing something wrong and maybe do it quicker you don't have to do nothing just exit exit the shop once you exit the shop you will not be able to move you can hear your car you can turn the wheels but you can't actually even move it backwards or forwards you don't lose that car it's just not technically you can't do nothing with it so you're not going to call in a car you're not going to return it to storage you want to leave that car right there you could take any street car it doesn't matter it won't actually let you jump i don't think apparently i never knew that actually because i never tried jumping you're just going to take any street car it'll let you drive these cars it doesn't matter don't call in a car you got to leave your zentorno there or you will mess up the glitch now this is getting the end of the glitch out part so you're gonna actually now you're gonna go to your arcade and this is that's where the duplication glitch actually starts it might take a couple seconds somebody's probably put put a bounty on me but it's okay because we are in an invite session I don't know what the point of that is but You should see your Zentorno on the map, the little logo of the car, or whatever car you have, not a Zentorno. It doesn't have to be a Zentorno. You should see the little logo of the car on the map. And you're going to come over to your arcade, and then you're going to go back to the garage. You could just walk into your garage, your arcade garage. Don't go in the normal arcade. Go in the garage. So this is where the duplication glitch actually starts happening. Load into your garage. Okay, once you get in your arcade, you should still see the your car that you called in at the LS car meet on the map. There's no way you could tell if that's your actual car unless you go like this. And it's at the LS car meet, yeah. Okay, so then you should have the car you want to duplicate here. That's all you need. And then you need a bunch of free cars. You could buy free cars right now if you want. doesn't matter. It won't affect the duplication glitch. So just the car you want to duplicate and then free cars. I have these motorcycles just because I like them more. I don't know. So you're going to get in one of the free cars, or you're going to get rid of these cars, don't get in the car you're duping, get in the free car, and you're going to drive it out.
And then you're gonna, right when you come out, just run back and get out of the motorcycle or LG or whatever and just r run back in it. It's gonna load you back into your arcade garage. This is where you could do it really fast. Okay, now you're gonna wanna go to the car that you're gonna duplicate. And you're gonna get in it. Sometimes I wait for like five seconds before, or for the actual lights to turn out, like three seconds. I wait for the engine to actually start, and then I click right on my D-pad. And it brings me into a shop, but the arcade doesn't actually have a mod shop, so we're still in the things we're in the LS car meet. So now we're gonna change something cheap, like so once you click right on your D-pad, it should take you into the shop when you go in the car you want to duplicate. And you could i I'd always just go to the plate if it has um like if it has like a mod plate on it. Not the plate. But if it I don't know how to explain. If your car has a plate on it, you could change the plate. You can change anything, just something cheap. You just have to change something. I'll just get rid of my wheelie bar. And then you can exit out of the shop. And then you should, it should look like this. It's only going to do this for a couple of seconds. You can, you can do this way quicker than I'm doing it. And the car is about to duplicate after I tell you this one thing. So get out of the car. You're slamming. Uh, hold your, um, your uh, D-pad, whatever, to get your interaction menu. Go vehicles and return personal vehicle to storage. As you can see, there is another slam van. And if you want to keep doing this, go in the free vehicle, drive it out. It's really, really easy from here. And now you can keep doing this. You fill your garage. You can call more cars, put LGs in there and switch them. You could do whatever. But now you're just going to rinse and repeat. Keep doing this. Go back in. And then you're going to want to go in the car you want to duplicate. I suggest duplicating Izzy's or slam vans because they sell, they sell for the most because other cars normal cars they will lose price once you duplicate them but these cars stay the same so they're really good they sell for 1.8 million each and that's decent money so now you can go in the car that you, you want to duplicate again any car any of the slam ends and then you're going to wait till the engine turns on I do you don't have to but it, sometimes it glitches you and you're glitched and you might have to wait like a whole minute before it takes you in the shop which is fine and then you're gonna change something cheap. I'll take off the wheelie bar. Wait, should I? Uh, it's only 6k. And you're gonna exit the shop. Clap, I got the shop. 21 digits, none ever. Babbish. Then you're gonna get out of the slam in. And then you're gonna go pull your interaction menu, go vehicles. The motorcycle you took outside, when you click return personal vehicle to storage, it'll switch it with a Izzy or a slam van or whatever you're duplicating, like right there. And now you take out a free motorcycle or an LG, you take it out, you come back in, get in the something you want to duplicate, go in the mod shop, change something cheap, and then get out of it and return it to storage and then there will be another one. You could keep doing this. Doesn't matter. Please, if it worked, like and subscribe. This has been out for probably a, like a good like almost probably a month now. I don't know. Well, I was just one of those like non-patchable glitches, but probably not. So, promise to you guys this works. I didn't fake nothing. Please subscribe. Please like and subscribe. You don't know how much it like helps. And uh, thanks for watching. Peace.